Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays and the Washington Nationals. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started. Today's starting pitcher, Chad Cool. He may not dominate, but he always keeps the club in the game. If you can score runs, you have a really good chance to win with him on the mound today. Leading to the plate the now for the Rays is the DH, the John Donaldson. John Donaldson. Two and two. Outside. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Now this is a story we were paying attention to before the game. Play. We've seen him give up the walks in the past, and it's an issue once Yandy. again early on. Yandy Diaz now. And that is cut on and missed. One now one and two. two. Donaldson gets his lead at first. Nobody out. In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. On the ground to third, might be two to second for one. Relay to first, double play. This way, Boggs now. Right hander kicks deals. Just oh, off the back. inside edge. Line of the pitch. Swings and misses. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. We'll go to the bottom of the first 0 0. Back in Washington, D.C., our starting pitcher in this one, Zach Eflin. What do you have on him? Yeah, ZRA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. Bottom of the first. Up now for Washington, Tim Raines. The 2-1. Curveball drops in for a strike. On the ground to the left. Oh, great stop. Over to first. And they get the out. That is the second. The second As we take a look at the Nationals lineup, they're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then... Make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. But when you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. The count two and one. And that one sliced foul. Slow roller to first. Diaz steps on first for the out. Batting third. The right fielder. 
Vladimir Guerrero. Two outs, base is empty. And now Vladimir Guerrero. The 1 1. Good eye right there. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. A Rosarena makes the catch inning over. So nothing in the Washington half of the first. We're scoreless through an inning at Nationals Park on the show. Second inning set to go. Now it's Randy Arozarena. Randy Arozarena. The 1-1. One, one. Line to left. And it drops in. But a good job to keep it in front. Nice line drive to the pole side right there. But he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Lau at the plate. Homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Ball to strike. The pitch. Slapped foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. And here it comes. Swing and a bouncer. Vargas on the run, sends it over to first. Lau out on the play. That is it. The short shot. Wander. Here's Wander Franco. A Rosarena. The runner at second with one away. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Out to short, and that squirts through. Reigns fires it to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. And it's 1-0. Comes through with the RBI. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Luke Rayleigh. The pitch. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. And a pitch. And that one missing low. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans. Oh, that one rides up and in. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good. But outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here's the speedy catcher, Christian Bethencourt. Hitless and four at bats yesterday. Falling behind oh, two and one. Righty delivers. Ground ball up the middle, and he can't come up with it. That is not the center field. Jose Siri. And now it's Jose Siri. That's in there. And that is strike two. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. 
in the air right side and that is the inning but the RBI single pushes across a run and the home team down a run you're watching Major League Baseball on the show And welcome back at Leading the play, the Gary Nationals. Carter, the catcher, the catcher. Gary, Gary Carter. Carter. And a 1-1. One, one. That ball too. Two and one the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a three one count. That's outside. Three and one. And that's ball four. Ball four. Leading off for Washington. Joey Manessis, the next to hit. Got him swinging. And one out now. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy the play tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. Now batting Jamer Candelario at the belt and fires. Yeah. Carter leads off first with one away. And now it's even up. It's a good take. On the ground, two ball. Over to Lau, to Diaz. That's two. Nothing across here this half. We play two full. It's the Rays one and the Nationals nothing. Back here in Nationals Park. New inning getting started. John Donaldson digging in now. Donaldson. Here's a 1-1. Out to short. And one away in the top of the third. Now back the first base. Yandy Diaz. Now it's going to be Yandy Diaz. He's 0 for 1. Next pitch, not close, up high. Out towards right center field, and it falls. So a man aboard now with one away. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate, and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. There's the strike. Here comes a pitch. Good eye right there. and misses it's a strikeout just indecisive in that at bat he couldn't commit to the slider tried to sit in between just not able to put the bat on the ball
Randy or Rosarena next to hit for the Rays. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Three two two out runner on first a lot of movement in the infield hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And he deals. Fouled off again and it remains three and two. And a pitch. Out to center. And it drops in. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Showed a lot of fight with two strikes in that A-B. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Next offering is fouled back. Swings and misses, struck him out. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Rays one and the Nationals nothing. As we go to the last of the third. And now the shortstop, Ildemaro Vargas. Bounce to the left side. Box fires over to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. The center Thomas. Here's Lane Thomas. The line to kick the pitch. And now the count is even. And now it's filled up. In the air to left center, the Rosarena moving under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Batting none. The, the first baseman. Base it's Chavis now. Chavis. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. The 1 1. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. There he goes down looking. Nationals go quietly. And it remains 1-0. Welcome back. On to the fourth. And the batter now, Wander Franco. The 2 1. And that's in the dirt. Well, these Rays doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there. And that might be the best news yet for this offense. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage. And that might be the case today. Hard hit, left side. In plenty of time to first. Franco gone on the play. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Luke Raley next to hit for the Rays. His first at bat was a strikeout. The pitch. Ball two. Kicks and fires. 
Swings through that one out in front that time. Bounce to the right side, and that chance handled. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. The catch number 14. Christian Bethancourt. Christian Bethancourt next to hit for the Rays. Reached on an infield single his first time. Swings and misses. That's strike two. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Ground ball right side. He takes it on his Got own. Him. That's the third out. Down in order go the Rays. They lead it 1 0. Ready to go. Bottom to four. Go. And now here is Tim Raines. And now two and one. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. The two two on the way. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in <laughs> on him, man. You know, the cutter isn't Second really a huge man. swing and miss Louis pitch Louis. most of the time because Guardia. it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And now it's Luis Garcia. Next pitch has popped up. Bethancourt under it and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Now batting, right fielder, Vladimir. Now it's the right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Here's a 2-1. Next offering is outside. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Fouled off, he was late. And down on strikes he goes. Out number three. Three up, three down for Washington. They trail here, one nothing. Paolo Espino into the game. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Paolo Espino. Digging in, it's the speedy Here outfielder, Jose Siri. He's over one. Jose. This is a guy who's Siri. in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. That one in the dirt, it's two and two. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position. And that's what he does. Lifted in the air, right center field. Got it! Nice grab. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And next is the designated hitter, John Donaldson. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. One down, base is empty. That one finds the zone. And a count one and two. Riding to the plate. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. And stepping in for the Rays, Yandy Diaz. 
one for two. And a big one swing ball. and a miss. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Nothing doing for Tampa, but they still lead it 1 0. Back here at the ballpark, we and now the catcher the comes up to him. him. Gary the Carter. Pitcher. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Towards first, Diaz. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And they take care of Carter for the out. So now here's the DH, Joey Meneses. The Nationals still looking for their first hit in this one. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And it finds its way through for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Everything came together for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Next to hit for the Nats, Jamer Candelario. He hit into a double play his first time up. The pitch. And there's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Meneses, the lead runner at second. Candelario over at first with one away. And it is two and one. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. 2-1 now. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Swing and a pop-up. Loud on the move. Great effort as he's able to haul it in two away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but now a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Here's the center fielder, Lane Thomas. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And the righty deals. First and second, two down. Fly ball to right. Rayleigh gets there. He's under it and makes the play, and that's out number three. So the Nats leave a pair. They're down one nothing. All set for the top of the sixth. Down the third baseman, Wade Boggs. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground to short, Vargas. Lead-off man retired in the sixth. Now back at left field, Randy Orozarena. So here's the cleanup hitter, Randy Orozarena. Right-handed reliever, and he takes a strike. On the ground to first. 
Chavis. Oh. Steps on the bag. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now back. Second base. Brandon Lau. And now it's Brandon Lau. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. The 1-1. One -one. And that's in for a strike. Fouls it back with two strikes. The one two. Caught him looking for the K. So they make short work of him there. Nine one and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rays one and the Nationals nothing. And welcome back. John Chappie with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Michael Chavis. Hit weakly on the ground. On to first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. That right there is exactly why he's one of the elite third basemen in the game. Great release and strong throw to get a guy with lots of speed going up the line. So the lineup flips over. Tim Raines now at the plate. Up the middle. Franco. On the run, throw to first, and he beats the throw very close right there. Tough play up the middle, and everything needed to be right there. Feel that, get a strong throw off the first base, and I think the speed going up the line had something to do with it as well. One down, Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. To the right side, and it gets by him. Here comes the throw. And he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Time runs now just 90 feet away. Just got to be wary of that double play, though. That would strand him in any inning. And now the right fielder, Vladimir Guerrero. Two and one now. Looked like it was a little bit up. There, the right handers 3 1. Swing and a foul straight back. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Reigns, the runner at third. Garcia at first, one gone. That one down the line, and foul ball. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. The pitch. Bounce to third. And it gets by him. In from third is the tying run. It's 1-1. One -one. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want. But his resume speaks for itself. And Ray's manager making his way towards the mound now as he will make the move. Zach Eflin won't go any further, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. And the Rays 
They go to the bullpen. Jalen Beeks. And he comes on here for the first time this season. And I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that. So we'll see how he settles in. Now it's the Nationals cleanup hitter, Gary Carter. And that's in for a strike. And a pitch. Out towards left center. The Rosarena moving under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two outs. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. And now the DH, Joey Meneses. And now the lefty. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. This to center field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. So one run in the inning on this base hit. All even at one apiece. Back here in Nationals Park. Now batting Wander Franco. Wander Franco. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Well, these Rays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Got him swinging. Not too often you're going to see a sub 90 mile per hour fastball get by a hitter for the strikeout, oh, especially when it's in a very hittable right location right like that. Makes mm -hmm. me think. He's either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much that swing. Now it's the right fielder, Luke Raley. Next offering is foul back. Right-hander kicks deals. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Oh, that's a really dangerous base runner to put on first, especially in a tie game. Now there might be some consequences coming from that mistake. Go ahead, run on base. And now the catcher for the Rays, Christian Bethencourt. Here's a 1-1. One -one. A little bit low. Way to lay off that pitch down. Move to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. One away. Tie game. Go ahead run. Stands at first. Next pitch misses. And that's ball three. Jose Siri. Next to bat for Tampa. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Jose. Two on, one out. Jose Siri next to hit for the Rays. One out. The go ahead run is at second. can't make the play throw comes in quickly holds that go-ahead run at third and they're still one away 
Well, well that's one of those knocks where you almost John. expect to get John. some jabs yeah. from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Pitch was away, so he definitely pulled off it there. Not what you want to do with the pitch in that location, really, but he was able to guide it into the outfield for the knock. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ballgame. The 2 1. Right through there for a strike. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Next offering is fouled back. Rayleigh on third. Bethancourt on second. Siri over at first with one away. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Reigns in position. Makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. And now the runner will score from third on the wild throw. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Yandy Diaz next to hit for the Rays. One for three. Two outs. And downstairs. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. At the belt and fires. And that'll nope. load the bases. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ball game, trying to keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. Now up for Tampa Bay, Wade Boggs. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Next pitch is popped up. Chavis gets under it. Brings it in. That is the inning. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Rays two and the Nats one. Back in Washington, D.C., set for the last half of the seventh. And now up for Washington, Jamer Candelario. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Next one misses, and the count is 3-1. and one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Jason Adam warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Deakman, a left-hander, also throwing. The 3-1 in for a strike, full count. And he grounds one to the right side. Tosses to first, one up, one down. Now that that's your stop. Up now for Washington, Ildemaro Vargas. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. The tying run at the plate. That catches the corner. Misses. The count now two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as a manager or as a pitching coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. 
the pitcher on here, Ryan Thompson. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And here is Lane Thomas. And a 2-1 on the way. That one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And the Nationals gone in order. And they trail it here, 2-1. to one. Erasmo Ramirez gets the ball now. He's making his second appearance of the season. Number 54. Erasmo Ramirez. Well, one run game. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Randy Arozarena. Arozarena. And the pitch. Strike two. Just misses with that one. Next one is off the plate. Counts full three and two. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Ripped to third and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, cool, can't it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Now it's the second baseman, Brandon Lau. Ball to strike. And that's doubted away. Action in the pen down there. Hunter Harvey looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Righty delivers. That's in there. Two and two now. Left hand batter waits. Here's a high chopper. On to Chavis. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. The batter, number five. Short stop. Wander. Two outs, base is empty. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Wander Franco. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Struck him out swinging. Snuck the fastball by him. Rays held in check here as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now it's Michael Chavis. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. In the air, right field, Rayleigh. Has this one sized up? And there's one down. Now got it. Left field. Back to the top of the lineup. And now here's the Nationals leadoff man, Tim Reigns. it down and there are two away the batter, number two, second baseman, Louis. now a new pitcher for the Rays Jason Adam he's into the game with the bases empty number 27 Jason Adam next to hit for the Nats Luis Garcia 
Well, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Next offering is downstairs. Activity in the bullpen. Pete Fairbanks up and loosening in the pen. And the 2 2. Come back into the mound. Gathers and throws to first. Inning over on the ground out. Took just two pitches to finish the frame out of the bullpen. Nothing doing for Washington. And our score remains 2 1. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. And stepping in for the Rays, Luke Rayleigh. Started to go at the 1 2. A check on it to third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. The one two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And now one away. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch okay. out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass. It could take away your focus from the next hitter, and that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. That oh. misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. down swinging for the strikeout pulled the string on the changeup back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame and that's now three in a row yeah he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches throwing them where he wants to right now so we'll see how long he can keep this streak going one run game here in the top of the ninth ground ball to the right side the flip to the pitcher covering and that is that. So they go quietly there. Part of the order. 3 4 5 will get their shot at the bottom of the ninth. It's the Rays 2 and the Nats 1. On the mound now, Pete Fairbanks. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Now, Pete Fairbanks. Number 29, Pete Fairbanks. And now up for Washington, Vladimir Guerrero. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate. And the tying run is on base. They're not ready to go home quite yet. No outs. Runner at first. And here's the catcher, Gary Carter. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. The 1-1. One -one. And now one and two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. The next offering misses. Two and two. Throw over to first. Guerrero back in on a dive. Struck him out. 
Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Well, we see it more commonly in the sport these days, but man, a triple-digit fastball blown right by someone is still pretty awesome to witness. I mean, you got to be geared up and ready to swing it when a guy like this comes out of the bullpen because that fastball, it eats, and if you're not ready, you're going to be walking back to the dugout. Another move to first. And they're keeping him close. Now at the plate, Joey Meneses. And that's pitches downstairs. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Now move to first. Oh, Guerrero back on a dive. Here comes a pitch. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Bethencourt settles underneath it. And he walked him. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way out. Up now for Washington, Jamer Candelario. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. The 2-2. High fly ball, right field. Rayleigh makes the grab. Runner tags and goes to third. Throw comes in quickly as the lead runner at third gets the stop That's sign. Not sure stop. Ildemaro Vargas digging in for the Nationals. Trying to deliver as the hero. One one now. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Down to their final strike. <laughs> Got him looking. The tying and go-ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, it's a tough loss with the tying run at third, trying to get it in. Could have perhaps tied up this ball game. Would have been pretty difficult to get that run all the way around from first base. But this comes down to being able to put the ball in play, hitting in situations they just weren't able to do it in this one. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Rays, two runs, six hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the Nationals, one run, four hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 42 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely. I feel like 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 I feel like